and it is unlocked so I can turn it and I can open it. Okay, it does have an adjustable shelf. Put this cache in the safe. And lastly, this will be a forthcoming video. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Oh, well, this is technology. Uh, it's definitely your personal security. That's why I'm putting it in this playlist for personal security. And this is a biometric safe from Ivation. Okay, so uh, this is definitely something that you should have if you want to keep your personal belongings safe from theft, safe from fire, um, and just, you know, e easy to get into but not. Okay, so let's explain. This is the biometric safe. And again, check the show notes. I'll have the model number, the link, everything for where you can pick one of these up. Highly recommend getting one of these. It's not that expensive. It's definitely something that you would come in handy. Um, and I'm going to go through some stuff you can put in here and what all comes with it and what all the features are of this safe. So first off, you're going to get some emergency keys. Put these somewhere safe, okay? You don't want them anywhere near the safe because this is definitely an easy entry. To your safe so this is only in a case of emergency if all the other fail uh, uh, processes to get in this safe fail then you're gonna have to know where these are at so hopefully you know that doesn't do that and you never have to use these because this is the last ditch effort so let's put those aside you get mounting kit so this is some pretty big stuff here to mount in a wall I mean anywhere you want to mount this stuff uh, you know, mount it and keep it safe. This will definitely mount in a wall, put it behind, you know, drill out of a place and put it in a wall, put it behind a picture, or whatever. Keep it by your bedside. If you don't even want to mount it, you don't have to. Um, so, this is the safe is solid steel. It is very heavy. Um, so, for instance, now, I've showed you the easy way to get in, and it's the emergency way only. So if I try to open this right now, I cannot get in this safe. It does not have the hinges displayed anywhere, so you cannot like try to uh, unscrew hinges or anything to get in the safe. It's pretty much foolproof to get into as is. So the first way, if you want to be conventional, is just a code. And out of the box, the code is just one, two, three, four. And then you hit the conf confirm button. And now you see a little green light, and it is unlocked so I can turn it and I can open it okay it does have an adjustable shelf which you can actually remove if you wanted to but you do have a shelf now it does have a nice little foam pad down here on the bottom for uh, some you know jewelry uh, things that you don't want to get scratched up it does have some padding in here otherwise just a metal shelf and then some styro or not styrofoam but some foam down here and that's where you're going to want to put your valuables that you don't want anything to happen to scratches you know metal on metal anything like that your gun um, you know I can't iterate enough if you want to have a gun in the house uh, for your protection and you want it safe this is where you would put it especially for the easy access because if you're going for a gun you're going to want it and you're going to want it easy and fast and that's where the biometric part comes in here you can see the uh, hinges here on the door this is a very sturdy door very thick sturdy door so let's go ahead and close it up lock it up again now we can't do anything with it so the easy access part is you can come in here you see that? I just put my thumb in there, knew who I was, and unlocked. Now just to prove that uh, it won't work, let's try this thumb. This, is, this was my right thumb. Let's try my left thumb. So I'm just going to push this button here because this will actually turn on the sensor and I wanted you to see that. So I'll put on this thumb. No. No. So. You have to program this in. I'll put it on this thumb. Boom. Very good biometric screener. Uh, you program this. There's a little button back here that you actually push once this is open. And it'll prompt you to scan your fingerprints and stuff like that to get it all set up. There are four AA batteries inside the door. There is a battery low light indicator. So you're going to know when to replace that. If you let the batteries die go all the way down you are going to need your emergency key to get in this thing so do not uh, let that happen you know watch your battery indicator here and uh, 
you know, definitely keep the batteries good. So where do you use the key? So, so I'm going to lock it up. There's a little slot right here. You slide off and you can actually put the key in down here and actually open this up. It's hard to do behind the camera, but let's see if we can get it. Boom. That is how you use the emergency key to get in your safe. If everything else fails, that is the way in. Okay? So, what are you going to use this safe for? Well, I have some examples. So let's go ahead and put my stuff that I'm going to keep in my safe. In my safe, so I'm going to open it up. Okay. All right, so first thing I'm going to put in there is my Pelican, and this actually has some valuable files on it, uh, tax stuff, um, just, you know, personal files that I don't want anything to happen to on SD cards, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick that in there. Uh, an RFID wallet, so I'm actually using another layer of protection here by uh, using this to block RFID scanning, so if any of these cards in here uh, we're going to try to be red. Now you probably can't do anything through the safe, but uh, this is definitely something that if you're going to carry out and about, you know, this is something to have, an RFID wallet. So I'm going to put that down here. A passport. Again, this is an RFID blocking uh, passport cover. So, you know, if people want to try to scan me in different countries and try to pick up my personal data with RFID scanners, uh, they're not going to be able to do so very easily with this passport RFID thing uh, case here. Okay, uh, I've got a, a terabyte drive here with very important data on it again. Uh, this was too large for like SD cards and stuff, so I actually want to uh, keep this data safe. So I'm going to put this drive down here on the nice padding. Uh, I have some cash here, so I don't want anything to happen to any of this cash, so I'm going to go ahead and put this cash in the safe. And lastly, this will be a forthcoming video, I'm going to put in my RFID signal jammer. Okay, This is from Signal Vault, and we're going to do a feature video on these guys on the personal security line. This is credit and debit card protector, and you can see there's their website, but this basically is blocking any RFIDs. Uh, so not only am I using the protected RFID coding, I'm jamming it with this. So, you know, the powerful ones, these are probably <clears throat> like 98, 97% foolproof, okay? Somebody has a powerful RFID scanner that's going to penetrate this and it's going to get them. So 100% block it. This will jam that and it won't happen. So I'm going to put that signal vault thing in there. And that's blocking Jim and RFID. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. And we're good to go. This baby, secure, safe, and sound. So, again, check the show notes. I'll have a link where you can pick one of these up. It does come with everything you see here. The emergency keys, the mounting kit. It does have a user manual. Uh, and then, again, the safe itself. Uh, great for personal security, especially you know if you want to have a firearm in the home uh, and you want to keep it safe and easy to access. I mean, if you hear an intruder in the night, you just wake up, you put your finger on the biometric screener, you open it up, and you got your gun. You don't have to worry about your kids coming in here and trying to get in. Make the code up to eight digits. You can use it from four to eight. You saw, like I said, it's one, two, three, four. Change that. That's pretty simple. So by default, you want to change that and up to an eight-digit code. So make it tough. Don't make it your phone number. Don't make it your address. Don't make it anything that the kids could figure out because that's an easy way in to make that something like that. So I'm just going to give you a heads up there. The biometrics is foolproof, but again, change the code. Make it tough. You don't want the kids to get in this. You don't want anyone to get in this but you and maybe your wife. All right, guys. Again, that is the iVation Safe. Uh, personal security biometric safe so check it out in the show notes if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscription to the channel check out this playlist that this is on there's plenty of other good videos including some videos on those RFID uh, protecting uh, wallets and passport covers and stuff like that you always got to protect yourself so that's what this is all about Again, if you like the video thumbs up share it subscribe to the channel and as always guys thanks for watching and have a good one